So what are the people seeing in Babylon? I know people in Babylon probably wonder, what in the world are you talking about? You see it every, every time you go to work, every time you go out, you see it. You see it all over the place. Over here in the borders, we don't see it at all. Nowhere. I, you can look for it and you can't find it. But in America, you don't have to look for it. It's everywhere. It's on television. People got shirts with it. It's everywhere. And you've grown custom to it. And this is one of the things the person came to me with question concerning. This was one, the same person that tried to test me. He came to me with this question. And the people in the borders, you're not, I didn't, re, I actually, I don't think I've told anyone this in the borders. But there was, it was just so many questions. But one of the things he mentioned he came to me concerning drugs. You guessed it. Drugs. Marijuana in particular. He said something. I he, Listen, the person said something. And I'm like, what is that? I had to look it up. I Googled it. I didn't know what they were talking. And I told the person. I never heard of that before. I heard of weed. I heard of marijuana. These are the things we knew. They got some, they saying some new stuff. We don't even know what it is. What is that? The study, the statistics now in America, people smoke marijuana more than cigarettes. <laughs> and so everywhere you look in, in America now, you see marijuana leaves. You see weed, the marijuana plant everywhere. This is what they're seeing. I looked at the news story with the man that murdered the man. It was in the marijuana store. I'm like, what the heck? What is this? We don't see that. When we go out, we do not see marijuana leaves all over the place. It's illegal. Now it's legal in America. So the person asked me, is it all right to smoke marijuana? Is it all right? You're saying is it all right to do drugs? Esau drugs. The, the, is it all right to, to do drugs? It's legal now. It, it has some benefits. <laughs> That's what he said. It has some benefits. People wondering, is it all right to do drugs? Is it all right to do crack cocaine? Is it all right to do heroin? What kind of question are these? <laughs> confused questions from confused people. And then they know that they shouldn't be doing it. Because later on in the email, uh, I'm trying to stop. <laughs> you busted, Jack. You busted. You know it's not good. But see, he's fighting against what's right. And he's making excuses, just like he made excuse for Babylon. There's some nice places in Babylon. There's some peaceful places. I'm like, oh boy, we done. When you start protecting the wicked, we getting away from you. We're done. We're finished here. This conversation is done. Because the father is out to destroy it and you're trying to protect it. I don't want the most high to think I'm in league with you at all. I have to let you know and the most high know I'm separating myself from this. If we can't do marijuana, watch this question from the same person. If we can't do marijuana, then why did the most high give us marijuana? Why did he have marijuana if we can't do it? And that seriously family prompt, should I, should, I, Abba, should I do a video show this? They don't understand this. Has he not read in the scripture concerning this? He think everything we see today come from the most high. He doesn't know about how the scientists are going mad and they're splicing and slicing, taking food, making it. GMO? So I had to ask the question. So he made GMO? No, he made GMO. He made this other wicked. He, did he make those needles they injected into people's arm with the poison in it? Did he make the poison pharmacia drugs? Did he make that point? Did he put chemicals in it? Man is doing this. Stop giving what he's doing. He's giving credit. This person is giving credit. And we people will do this. Giving credit. To, to the most high for, for something the wicked done. 
That's the same equivalent. You ain't done nothing. You ain't committed a crime. Somebody get murdered. They said you did it. You murdered. That's a false accusation. So people are giving the most high a false accusation. They don't know anything about the fallen ones. That they taught men wickedness. They taught men weapons. They taught men drugs. God. Do you have to hear a video of the scriptures to come out about that? These people are weak as weak can be. And when you when they find out they're weak, when someone that's strong and powerful in the scripture tell them they're weak, they can't get up with it. Then they start trying to quote knowledge to prove they know something. And then misquoting, listen, quoting a YouTube video. Oh, I know where that come from. That came from a YouTube video. And the scriptures don't match that YouTube video. But they gave the information that they know to the best of their ability. Just crazy. Okay, where your knowledge of the scripture? So yeah, let's get back to this. Yeah, people will despise the land. Although it's cleaner. We don't see marijuana leaves all over the place. We don't see that. They despise the land. These people despise. Did they despise the land? Somebody need agreement. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they despise the pleasant land. Look at this. Here's your agreement. Here's the verse that's saying the same thing. Yeah. They despise the land. These people, they don't despise the land. Yeah. Yeah, they do. They despise. We're right. Listen. We bordered, we, we're within the borders of the land. All on the outskirts of this land. Within the borders, on the outskirts of this land, and the people despising us because we over here. You think you something because you over there within the border? Nobody said that, man, we can get cut off. Who are you? Then you got others cracking jokes. Listen, Jacob's trouble's here, and it's going to kick off in full force. There will be none to bury their bodies. When you see this, you know you in Jacob's trouble. When you see this, y'all, people want to know when is Jacob's trouble going to start. When is it going to start? This is what they're wanting to know. When you see dead bodies, and there's none to bury the dead bodies, congratulations. You are in Jacob's trouble. They're going to want to flee, but they can't. This is Psalms 106, 24 through 27. Yeah, they despise the pleasant land. They believe not his word. If people don't believe his word, they mumbered, they, they mumbered in their tents, hearken not unto the voice of Yahuwah. Therefore, he lifted up his hand against them. When we despise his pleasant land, when we hate his commandments, his statutes, his judgments, and we don't do them. We teach against them. We tell others not to do it. Oh yeah, you can keep the Pesach. Yeah, keep the Pesach. You want to keep the Pesach? Keep the Pesach. See, they're going against it and telling others to do it. Therefore, the Most High going to lift up his hand against them. And overthrow them in the wilderness. He going to lift his hand up against our people in the lands of our captivity. And overthrow them. In the lands of our captivity to overthrow their seeds. Also um, among the nations to scatter them in the lands. That's his heart. This is him. Proverbs 1, 28 through 30. When these people end up in these lands, they're going to call on him. When these people end up in Yaakov's trouble, they're going to call on him. But he will not answer. They're going to cry aloud. That they may be saved from the hands of Gawain. They're going to be slaughtering Yaakov. And none shall be delivered. Most high not going to hear you. Why? You despise his commandment to come out. Everybody that despises his commandment to come out. Please never ever click on another video of you who is one channel again. Please. And YouTube hates when I say things like this. 
This ain't for you. This is for those that were despising his commandments and they didn't know it. And now this word is hitting their ruachs. I didn't know I was despising his commandments. And then they change. It was for you. They will seek me diligently. They will not find me. Because they hated knowledge. Knowledge came forth. We give people knowledge. When they don't accept the knowledge, this knowledge is scripture. Let me make sure we understand what's going on here. When we give people scripture, they say things like you cherry picking the scripture. You think I'm going to believe your interpretation of the scripture? These are the things that they're saying when you give them stuff like move out the midst of her. Because this person asked me, where exactly does it say move out of the midst of her? I already gave the verse. You didn't even read it. Pitiful. That's straight pitiful. You give the verse, do not stand still. Remember Jerusalem afar off. They don't, that's, that's knowledge. They don't accept it. They hate it. And did not choose the fear of Yahuwah. You didn't think you, you thinking he ain't going to blow that building up. You thinking the most high C4 plastic explosive ain't going to work on that building. Oops, I got another. You don't understand. They would have none of my counsel. When we give them people the word of the most high, is his count that becomes their, their counsel from the most high. They don't know it. And despise my every rebuke. So when we rebuke the with listen, when we use the word to go against what they're doing, that's a rebuke. We're not doing it. The most high is doing it. He said, Don't stand still. But he going to gather us. Deliver yourself. See, that's a rebuke from him. They despise my every rebuke. Proverbs 5 and 12. Watch this. This is what people say. How I have hated instructions. See, family, people don't. Un this is proof. People don't understand. They hating his instructions. They despise his commandments. They're asking a question. How did I despise the commandments? In my heart, despise correction. How have my heart despised correction? I know correction is for my good. This is what they will say with their mouth. But when they actually get corrected by the scripture, they're not going to like it. Amos 2 and 4. Thus says Yahuwah. For three transgressions of Yehuda, and for four, I will not turn away its punishment because they have despised my to the Torah. They despised the Torah of Yahuwah and have not kept his commandments. Why? Here is the reason why, family. Their lies led them astray. People are listening to lies. We've warned people. You don't know Torah and the prophets. You have yet mastered the Torah and the prophets. That means go through it. Pick out the mistranslation. Go into the Aubrey of the Torah and the prophets to get an understanding of what's going on and go straight to the New Testament and start quoting test the spirit. Try the spirit. Quoting the mark of the beast. Stuff that ain't even written in scripture. Never came out the mouth of the father. Then they begin to believe lies. Lies which their fathers followed. You're following lies of the father. You do not want to follow lies of the fathers, of your fathers. I don't want to follow the lies of my fathers. I want to follow the truth of my fathers. And people with a good heart, if they have the same mentality, they will accept this word. They will adjust their lives make a change in their lives and they will they will begin to understand many different things when you understand something you can adapt and change we, we had a message adaptation to the wilderness see if our people don't know anything about that message going there in the borders they never heard that before if they don't know nothing about that they're done they're finished honestly the Most High has given the answer and we have people that refuse to hear the answer. Now you understand if you have, you hated the Most High's commandment or not, despised it. Shalom.